Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna try to answer the age old question, actually not the age old question, the question that I've had for about two months since making this pigeon hunting video in high wind. In that video, I saw a bird jump ahead of all the rest of the birds and wondered how the heck he knew that a bullet, a pellet, was heading for him. I called him jokingly a ninja bird at that time, but I didn't let the idea go that he somehow knew it was coming before the rest of the birds. And in that wind, on that day, I do not think the bird heard the muzzle blast of my gun. Rather, I think he saw it coming. So in this video, we're gonna explore just that. Can birds see the pellet coming? For this gun, and for most of my shooting, the pellet's moving at 900 feet per second. So we're gonna slow things way down with this one, frame by frame, to see if these birds can see this pellet coming. Now whether they can do something about that's another matter. We already know that birds can dodge bullets. How else would I miss? <laughs> but can they also see them coming? That's what I want to know, and that's what we're going to explore in this video. Now, making a statement like, can birds see bullets, is about as descriptive as saying, can mammals smell fear? There are tens of thousands of birds. So, to be more specific, the three that I'm talking about are the house sparrow, the European starling, and the feral pigeon. And if you're a first time viewer of my videos, you're probably saying, you know, why do you have to shoot these birds for this experiment? And the truth is, I was gonna shoot the birds anyway. They're pests in my area and I blast them routinely. So I'm not gonna narrate through every one of these birds. Rather, I think I'll just shut up here and, uh, and let you guys have a look at them. What I will do is slow down the video frame by frame right before each pellet impact so that you guys can see the reaction of the bird right as the pellet is about to strike them.
So that's it guys. I'm not going to draw any sweeping conclusions. You can judge for yourself by watching the video. I have my own ideas now. I'm sure you might have some of yours. That footage was definitely interesting. I think I'm going to do a little more thinking on this and analyze a little more video. Maybe I'll get back to it. Or maybe I'll just add it to my long list of unknown things that I'll probably never know and that I just have to be okay with not knowing. Until next time guys, always thank you for watching. We'll see you again. Next episode, we'll learn what to do with this.